morning hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on a beef and arable farm here in south yorkshire looking like it's going to be a nice but cold day morning mate morning. nice to have my little man here um on the farm I feel so privileged to be able to bring him to work and uh, grandma be able to look after him now in today's video somebody's coming to look at the daft just give it a check over and make sure everything's hunky dory with it they were coming anyway but i had a couple of issues with it going to pick the cattle up yesterday so um it came on with like a transmission fault and i was like oh my god here we go again he didn't really he didn't really do anything so i'm gonna get him to check that when he comes uh, but fingers crossed it's just like a glitch or a minor issue or something if it's not then just our luck we're gonna get on the i'm pointing at this tractor as if i'm gonna get on this I'm not gonna get on that i'm gonna get on the tm and it looks like we've not got much meal left actually so we might have to do a mix first of all looks like there's a lorry on the lane i'm hoping it's clearing up the fly tipping not adding a bit more so andy's just getting on the nine meter behind us he's swapped me jobs now he's gonna be doing the mix um just because then i can use up this meal that's in front of us and you'll not be sat around waiting for me to open him uh, some gates with uh, to put the straw in we've got it all worked out here you know we've got it all worked out efficiency is key so i'll try and maneuver around andy here and get some meal in the bucket while he's tipping it in we had a nightmare in this pen so he's escaped we'll have to let him in another one's had a, a dump in the trough oh. oh i'm not used to this opening gates andy now he don't want to behave way andy come on get him come on come on you pains Morning Andy. Morning. Are you, you've got a new addition to the family? Yeah, a little addition. Mini addition? <laughs> what have you got? I have to guess. <laughs> Andy's got a new addition to his household. What is it? What's he got? Let us know in the comments and then he'll show some pictures tomorrow. Leave it as a cliffhanger, eh? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the dump in the trough. Andy sorted it out now. We'll get these fed. So Andy just left left me let me in here uh, and i'm gonna let him in with the straw blow all right your turn andy you're lovely aren't you hey well maybe not that lovely you are really though Trying to eat my pockets. It's a good job I don't care about this coat, isn't it? Eh? You're all lovely. Oh yeah. Steady. Nearly got me head trapped between his head and his head. Uh, not my head, my hand. That'd have hurt, wouldn't it? Right, come on. Andy wants you out of the way now. Come on. Come on. I don't think he's gonna to listen to me. Andy's got some hay on, ready to do that. We've got the builders here because something might be happening. So I'm just moving the pile of soil that I put here. I don't know how long ago. My dad's decided that he just wants me to tip it in the bottom. I've come to use the digger and it needs a big welding job doing on it. So we've got a crack around there so we need to grind it up weld it and do it in five minutes because man's here to show me where to dig holes so we've had a professional welder on the job and now she's back up and running back in business dad just wants me to put a smaller bucket on so now i'm going to get on the cabelco and i'm going to dig some holes 
Hey, what fun can we be having here? It's gonna be mint. Let's see if she starts up anyway. I'll have to isolate her off. We'll start because I've already had it started this morning, but you know, it is old. So let's give it a bash. First turn at key, absolute beast. There's a few holes dug now. Just need to clean this one out a little bit more. And we should be good. Ben's working at the top end of the yard. There's a lot of stuff going on today. And a lot of stuff gonna happen in the future. So stay tuned. X marks the spot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the rusty girders from the barn fire. And we're gonna put three more bays up at this end here that you can't see um so yeah we're going to put three more bays up and then we've got a machinery store a place to store hay um we're using up the scrap basically um we're putting a new bit of a shed up well just uh, extending it a little bit but it'll give us a lot more usable space um to be able to store stuff so um yeah i always like to expand a little bit and that's our little expansion this year as for what's going up on with ben on the tm at the end of the drive there you'll have to wait and see so i'm rocking and rolling up the yard now oh it's a bone shaker on this concrete i tell you these cows will be wondering what's happening a quiz question what's that machine for there is two but i'm on about this one here at the back so I'm just at the top of the drive now. Ben shifted a lot of this. Tarmac out the way, which is great. Done it with a JCB and made quite a tidy job, really. But this is side of the road. Where's he gone, Mr. Robin? There he is, he's singing. That's nice to see, isn't it? Really nice. I do love playing on that thing. Um, I mean, I've just moved this tarmac here. It would have been so much quicker with the JCB, but um, hey. So much more fun to do it with that. It's just a digger, isn't it? It's mint. I love them. Absolutely love them. So the Scania's off. The cloud of smoke has been sold. Away it goes. So we're just marking a bit out now, do a bit of um, digging here. With a digger now, but it's quite hard ground. That's the trouble. So we'll have to see how uh, how it goes. Just do with uh, somebody with a mole drainer, uh, not a mole drainer, like other mole that can dig underneath the drive. So if anybody watching has got one, and uh, let me know in comments, basically, because I, I need to use one to get under the drive. Ideally, I could dig drive up. I won't mind digging drive up, but if we can just do it that way, it'd be so much easier. Oh, some good digging going on. And ben have come up now with a sheet of plywood. I'm laughing at me because I've fetched these to do the shuttering. Mm. And, and the builders are laughing at me as well, so Ben's going to fetch some thicker pieces of wood. I think, going, yeah. I think rats have had a gnaw at this one, look, haven't they? <laughs> hey? Yeah. <laughs> okay, some digging going on. It's coming along nicely now. Ben's attacking roots with the axe. You having fun? No. I'm going to leave them two to wait. Me and Andy are going to start feeding up. I'll have to fetch the digger down a little bit later. Ben and Andy have been getting some cattle out. Ben's going to do the last three. He's just pulling the airline across now. And Andy's just doing a mix for me in there. So as I'm feeding these, I got an email earlier, or I, I opened an email earlier, I think it was sent a few days ago, from uh, Big Andy in Canada. Now, um, one of his family members has took him over a Joe Seals, uh, I think it was a t-shirt or um, a hoodie. You'll see in a second when I put the photo up. And um, he's there in the snow with the Canadian flag in the background. And I thought, maybe we should make this into a thing, like international watcher. And I'll just like put it up maybe at the end of the videos or something. And... Um, 
yeah so if, if you're if you're out on holiday somewhere or you're watching from a different country and you can put like Joe Seals on your laptop or something I don't know just like a little bit of that and then maybe the flag of the country that um, you're watching from um, it's all just to like get my geography uh, fix because that's why I did it uni I, I love geography and um, it even transpires to show on my website um, if you look you can see where people have actually watched there's like a world map on the on the website so if you click on that and then you're from a weird place then you'll have a little pin uh, and it'll you know you've watched from Mozambique or whatever um, so yeah if people want to send them in um, get in touch and send them through and I'll uh, I'll try and put them at the end of videos if uh, if uh, if we get if we get some sent in right yeah okay my weird like geography thing brilliant <laughs> well, we're just finishing to put the uh, fodder beat round and Andy's got it on his machine oh well I'll put the digger away Becky's here for tea we'll get this put away we can have a night inside for once I think there it is all nicely tucked away to bed boost and Andy's down there Feeding out the last few bits of fodder beat. See the spring working on the KW bucket. Bouncing up and down. If there's any stones it lets them through or any really big bits it's finding hard to chew. Just opens up and lets them through. Right, I think I will put away the 6215. Um I'm not sure why they've had that out today actually. Oh trailer, they've had trailer on, haven't they? That's it. I remember now. I think that wagon that's just pipped might just be Big Mick. I'll ring him in a minute and find out. Start up the beast. Another beast. Oh. It's very easy to drive this. Put it in gear. Put your foot on accelerator. Oh, and away she goes. Nice power to weight, weight ratio. Right, we'll get it. Get this pulled in here somewhere. Out of the way. Andy just putting that away now. Job done. And now the 130 is getting put away as well. Everything in the shed, packed away, nice and tidy. He's just putting the door down now. Um, you're off down, Devin. Um, are you taking your new addition with you? Depends. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, no. You'd have to leave kids at home on their own. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Andy's doing that. Um, so we'll be in doing bits and bobs. I'm sorry that. I feel like I've let people down a bit today, Andy, because I've not like filmed as much as I could have. No. Because I've been having fun at Digger mainly. Um, <laughs> but I could have got. I should have had like a tripod on outside and like. I don't know, but yeah, I don't you know. Had the pressure on. Me. I had the pressure. It's been a busy day, hasn't it? Really, we got. I feel like we've achieved a lot and got a lot done. So um, yeah, what do you think's happening at the end of the drive? So I don't think I've said that yet. Um, yeah, what do you think that is? Oh, and remember again, if anybody's got one of their mole drainer things, let me know, because um, it would be handy just to go under the track and not be able to actually dig it out. They're expensive. Are they? Yeah, there's a company in Devon, JT Utilities, but I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe they'll yeah, come up. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, they got... Uh, yeah, oh, is it a deal doing like, it? like, remote control, like, proper, like, yeah, it can go, like, under the whole farm, bring it right out through the other side. Yeah. Oh. It's a real, real good kit. Yeah, so if anybody's got that but cheaper version, um, <laughs> let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you've liked it, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you're not already. If you want the hats, um, I, know I said I'd order them today, but to be honest, I just have not had time. I'll order them on Monday morning, so there'll be the hats, the hoodies, and the t shirts. Um, you can all pre you can all pre order your sizes and things like that. So um, check them out on joeseals.com. Anyway, thanks for now. Bye.